And this is a look at the Fox weather alert system. It shows a few tornado warnings at this hour. There you go. You can see states to our west are getting pummeled right now by severe weather. And Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Brooks Garner joins us now. And Brooks, we, mean, we, we might start seeing some of that weather tomorrow night and into Friday. That's right, Ray. Uh, we're going to see the severe end of this, thankfully going away before it gets here, but we are going to catch the rain out of it. But yeah, tonight's a big deal. They've already had 15 reports of tornadoes, and currently there are at least five active tornado warnings across western Alabama heading toward the east. So thankfully, as far as we're concerned here, the energy producing the severe weather goes north while the rain comes south. So we're going to miss it, but we are still here in Orlando going to catch a significant impact of what could be some very heavy rain over the next several days. Check it out. Zooming in right now to this line from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, all the way south to Gulfport, Mississippi. Thunder, lightning, damaging wind gusts, and also a couple of tornadoes as indicated by radar. So it's a big situation and the tornado threat for the rest of this evening, very likely in the red from Hadesburg, Mississippi, all the way east through Pensacola, even into the westernmost counties of Florida, getting into Scambia County, uh, up into Montgomery, Alabama, and just outside of Birmingham. So folks there are on guard tonight for sure. Now the system moves east tomorrow, but as I mentioned, the severe threat dissipates. It's still likely that in the Panhandle and across the Big Bend, the Nature Coast will have some severe storms. Damaging winds looks to be the biggest mode of severe weather as that works into North Florida tomorrow. But in the green, this is a possible severe weather threat, and that does include Orange County on the north side, north of Orlando, all the way up to Gainesville, all the way east through Volusia County and all the way south toward Tampa Bay. The timing on this, though, is key because it looks like the squall line associated with that severe weather possibility may not really come together until way late tomorrow, like almost to midnight tomorrow night. Tomorrow's going to be a beautiful, windy, sunny, hot day, highs in the low 90s. Let me show you what I mean. Here's Fox Weather's Fox model. This is our exclusive future satellite radar. You can only find it here on Fox 35 in this area, and we're going to see these downpours developing tomorrow in the afternoon and evening across the Panhandle, North Florida, Florida Turnpike around Lake City there where it, impact, where it uh, converges with I-10, I-75 up in that region. The front then sags south toward Orlando and it stalls. It's going to stall late on Friday morning, eventually setting up shop right over our area and in doing so becoming a focal point for two air masses converging. That's going to result in a likely chance for rain not just Thursday night, not just tomorrow night late, but for most of the day Friday around the region. Here's a closer view. Squall line comes southward through 11 o'clock around Leesburg, all the way back through Brooksville and northeast through Daytona, eventually working toward Orlando around about midnight. So any of these could produce a couple of damaging wind gusts, but the biggest threat's going to be the rain because if it sets up over Orlando or if it sets up in areas just south of Orlando, we could see several inches or more of rain falling Friday pre-dawn soaking the morning commute, possibly leading to some minor flooding impacts. Could catch a bit of a break from the action before it redevelops across the area Friday afternoon for an 80% chance for rain. Interesting process though in this computer model showing a lot of heavy rain right over the area, creating a little bit of a cool pool of air, pushing that complex a little bit farther south, sparing us from an all day rain. But that's not a certainty yet, so we've got a call for a really good chance for rain. And accordingly, we've got a Fox 35 impact day from 10 o'clock tomorrow evening through the day Friday for all of the rain potential. But tomorrow, it's going to be hot and dry as far as the rain goes, feeling a little more humid, 92 the high. But then check it out, rain chances elevated through Sunday, catching a bit of a break Monday, Tuesday before we're back at it again, this time next week.